Hey there, Alistair here in the workshop. Um, I just thought I'd do a little of up update video on, on what's been going on the last sort of couple of weeks or a month or whatever. Um, I'm still editing part two of my how to build a bushcraft knife. So that will be after this video. I just thought I'd do this as a quick one in between just to sort of let you know what's been going on. Been really, really busy actually. And uh, trying, to trying to juggle uh, my day job, which I drive a truck out here in Australia. So trying to juggle that. My wife, she slipped over in the shower and gouged all her leg up. Then it got infected. And she, so she's been out of action with that for a while. So I've been trying to do, trying to help her out in the house and, and, and this and that. I'm not saying the woman's job is doing stuff in the house because, you know, we both share the load when it comes to housework and all that. But it's just other bits and pieces that she just normally do. And I wouldn't even think twice about it. But um, and obviously she can't do it. So then it, I'm, I'm trying to sort of fill in and... and not doing a very good job but you know doing my best but yeah you, you know what i mean you know what i mean uh anyway um i have been really really busy and I'm trying to trying to juggle it around with everything else that's going on it is, is tricky it's just me on my, obviously in my workshop uh, on my own so anyone that's placed an order uh, i am working on them it might take a little bit longer than uh normal but uh, we we will get there and you will get your knife so uh, just stick stick with it i'll try and give updates as well if on custom knives i try and do little updates uh, on either text or on uh, through like uh, messenger or whatever just to just to show how the knife's going and you know little pics here and there um first one we've got to look at uh, this one here i had an order come through from the uk uh, danny uh, this is your knife now he asked for a bushwood original and he wanted it in high carbon steel so we'll have a look so this is the veg tan uh, wet molded sheath um light he asked for a light a light tan hope hopefully that's the it's the right color and uh we've got the natural color thread on there so you can see that now he asked for four mil thick high carbon steel so the only four mil thick i had in stock was uh, 01 tall steel so uh, that's what i ended up using so there we go so we've got bushwood original 01 tall steel four mil with maple scales which danny specifically asked for with coupled together with the 6.5 mil loveless bolts brass outer stainless inner um, so overall it's come out really nice I took the flats up to a thousand grit so they've got like a nice sheen to them there and uh, 26 degree total bevel angle there 13 degrees per side um, and one thing that I did do he didn't actually ask me for it so but I, I did it anyway because it, it just looks nice so with the four mil thick sometimes on a, on a knife like this it's quite a it's quite like a elegant looking knife with the light wood sometimes the handle can look a bit bulky with the four mil steel going through so i did a tapered tang on there for him so we went down to 1.9 mil from the four so you can see that you can see the taper there see it on that side and it just looks a little bit a little bit less bulky um and overall gives it a nicer look i think so I didn't charge him for that. I just did it because I just felt it looked look nicer. So it doesn't, to be honest, tapering the tang doesn't take long. It can like half an hour and I've got it done. So there we go. So that one's for Danny. Um, hopefully you like it, Danny. I have sent you some pictures. So I'll be posting that one out to him soon. So a nice fit into the wet molded sheath, which is good. Now this one here, this one, is for Ian. Now, I think he's over on the east coast of Australia, so uh, he's been waiting a while for for this, and uh, finally got finally got it made. So anyway, sorry about the delay, but uh, again, wet molded sheath, dyed dark to to kind of contrast the handle of the of the of the knife. Now this one here, Ian actually saw this piece of wood. I actually I put it on Instagram, and he saw it and said has it been taken and at the time it hadn't so i'm pretty sure if i let me get the pronunciation carom i'm pretty sure it's carambola carambola burl uh, which is a 
Really, really, really nice piece of of wood. It's got some great pattern to it and figure in there. Yeah. So this is a sorry. This is a dingo. I should have said this is a, the, the model that I call a dingo, which is based basically on like a, a bird and trout style knife. Quite a slim line. Uh, Saber grind. I did this one in two point five AEBL. So it's a like a it's a nicer lightweight knife, and uh, being that it's nice and slim, it would be perfect for like fishing and stuff like that. So um, just get a clean. So put some jimping on the spine there, just to give you a little bit of extra grip where your thumb goes. And uh, red liners, mosaic pins, brass lanyard tube. And uh, overall, come out really nice. Very happy with it. So that one's for Ian. I'll be posting this one out soon. Take I'll take some pics, and then uh, yeah, that will be going out. And another one, last one, is a Bushwood curve back. Now, this one here, <laughs> uh, I actually made I made two of these. I only had uh, enough wood blocks just to just to make two knives. So one's gone, and this one is another one. I made them both the same orange liners. Uh, so this one is the Bushwood curve back, which is same size as the original, but curve back curve back as you can see the, the from the tip to the butt there it curves it's got a slight curve to it as opposed to being more straight like the original but uh, so it's a nice looking knife and this is Siamese was it Siamese uh, Siamese rosewood I think I'll have to double check I have to double check if it's wrong. I'll sure put a thing at the bottom of the, of the screen. This is not Siamese rosewood, but it's got a fantastic look to it. Really, really fine grain, mega, mega hard. It's, it's one of the hardest woods I've had to use. Um, you can hear that. It's like real, real, real hard stuff. Um, the belt, shaping the handle, the, the the belt was really struggling to to cut through it. It's that hard. Um, I think it's quite a rare, quite a rare wood nowadays. Trying to get hold of it, so can't get any more. So that is it. That is it for that. But nice looking knife. Again, quite an elegant looking knife. Full flat grind on there. As you can see, took it right up to the to the spine there. Full flat grind. AEBL stainless steel, three mil. And again, perfect fishing knife or just a camping, whatever like that, being that it's nice and thin, be perfect for slicing up your veggies and your meat or whatever, um, but also strong enough to do a few other jobs around the camp. So that's that, Bushwood curve back in Siamese Rosewood, orange G10 liners. So that's around about it. Uh, I've got a few others that are in the kind of process. I've got this tracker xl underway now that's had the uh, heat treating done tempered and i've hand sanded the flats there to to 600 grit as you can see so that just needs that just needs a bevel grinding i'll do a, a, a saber grind probably two thirds of the way up just to take a little bit of bulk out of the knife because it is quite you know thick sort of heavy weight being it's a big knife uh, so we take the grind up a little bit and uh, again another good fishing knife hunting knife or knife for whatever you want you want it for whatever you want to chop up so that's that quite a good size knife you can see there quite, quite hefty uh, tracker xl so that's around about it for what's been going on in the workshop. Uh, again, I do apologise for the delay on on some of the knives that I've been making. Just you know, what's as I said earlier, just things that just haven't kind of fallen into place. So, uh, but um, yeah, thanks for sticking by me, and once again, thanks to everybody from overseas that, that are placing orders. Uh, 
I've got Tony as well. I forgot to mention Tony. Tony from the UK. He has placed an order for three knives. He's placed an order for a Bushwood Original, a Brumby and a Dingo. And uh, he has just pr pretty much just said to me, just build them however you want to build them with uh, as long as they've got Australian timber handles just he's left it completely up to me he's paid in full for all three knives I said just do a deposit but he's literally paid in full for three knives uh, so I really really appreciate your trust in uh, like paying someone <laughs> for three knives on the other side of the world uh, you know it go it, it make real real means a lot to me the fact that's, that, that somebody has done that and uh you know trust in my eyes trust is a, is, a, is a big thing so again tony thank you very much for doing that and um i am underway on your knives and hopefully should get them before but not not before too long as they say so uh thanks again to, uh, for, for everybody that's placed an order and apologies if there's been a slight delay but we will get there we will get there in the end so uh anyway that's around about it for this video just a quickie just to give you a bit of an update on what's been going on uh, and where i'm at so as i always say like and subscribe and stay safe and i shall see you on the next video which will be part two of the uh, bushwood original um how to build a bushwood original video if that makes sense <laughs> and that will be as i said in that video I'm going to do that one as a giveaway knife, so I'll work it out on how to how I'm going to make it fair to whoever gets it. I'd like a random pick out or something like that. I don't know, but uh, we shall go from there and uh, get that finished. And I shall see you on the next one. Cheers, then. See ya. Bye bye.